everybody, so today I'm going to be kickstarting my Halloween videos by doing the Halloween tag. I think that's probably like the perfect video to start them off. I won't be doing that many, I'll probably do like maximum four because I don't really, I don't know, I can't do makeup tutorials. I can try. I have got one makeup tutorial that I want to do but it's not Halloween themed. So there we go. So today I'm doing the Halloween tag and I'm actually going to be reading and answering some questions. Some of the questions don't apply to me. For example, the first one says favourite Halloween themed song. I don't have a clue. So I can't really answer some of them. So I will just leave them out. So the first question is name something you wouldn't want to run into in a dark forest or an abandoned house. Literally a person. To me, I don't believe in like ghosts or anything like that, so I wouldn't say a ghost. I think the only thing that will hurt you is an actual person, so I would definitely go for a person. Number two, have you ever played with a Ouija board? No, and in my opinion, I don't think they do anything. I don't know, I watched someone's video and they bought a Ouija board and then they were like, and then this noise happened in the background and it's just obvious that it's put on for the camera. I just, I'm not even going into that because I'll probably get lots of dislikes on this video. The creepiest thing that's ever happened while you were alone. <gasps> right, okay, I'm going to tell this story. And basically I was in my bed at night sleeping away well actually I wasn't asleep I was awake and when I was younger I always used to think that I could hear little noises like little shuffles I know now that it's just my imagination because I can hear those noises still now if I really think about it but it's basically the sound of silence it's just really really quiet kind of shuffling noises but this one night I was staring at my door and it opened slightly and I thought oh god what the hell um and obviously I was a little creeped out I don't believe in ghosts but I was like, okay, what the hell's that? Then I heard this shuffling and I was like, hang on a minute, that is something, like something is making that happen. And then I heard my guitar underneath my bed go bing. And I was like, okay, something is under there. And I was like, I don't know what to do. So what I did is I got up, I went through to my parents' room because I was kind of young. And I was like, oh, dad, I heard these noises. And they were like, oh, you know, get back to bed. So he came through um, to put me back to sleep. The next minute, this hamster ran across the room. And it turns out it was my hamster, Samson, who'd managed to crawl out of his cage in this room here that I'm in, the living room, climb all the way up every single step of my stairs, go into my room, opening the door. Like, it wasn't shut, but he pushed it open because I saw it slightly move and then go on my guitar and scare me. Like, that is just like, what the hell? Like each step going up the stairs must have been like a mountain for him. So that's the creepiest thing. If you were dared to spend the night in a haunted house, haunted house, would you do it? Um, not alone, definitely not. If I was with all my friends, then yes. Um, I don't believe in like ghosts or anything, so I wouldn't think it's haunted, but I would be scared of just general people just wandering in like burglars or weirdos or something like that. That's what I get frightened of. Are you superstitious? No. In fact, all the things that they say like not to do, like walking under ladders or getting umbrellas out, I do that to prove to myself that it's not superstition. I will just do those things more, I don't know, like instead of opening my umbrella outside, I'll purposely open it inside. Do you ever see figures in your peripheral vision? So just like, that means like, just see like figures in the corner of your eye and stuff like that. Yes, but as soon as I see something, I look straight to it, I know exactly what it was. It's just like objects and things almost appearing to look like something or a shadow looking like something. And like you, when you're wanting to see something, your eyes almost make you believe that that's something. Do you prefer gore or thrillers? I don't like either, but I would probably say gore because thrillers scare me. Like that I just couldn't watch them because I would be like a pillow in front of my head. Whereas something like gory is just like, you know, it is not real, I don't know. It's just like, I can watch that. Um, but thriller, I'm just like absolutely scared. It's like even watching Coronation Street, I get scared. So, you know. Do you do you believe in multiple dimensions or worlds? Um, no, simple as that. Um, I do biology and chemistry. And to me, it's all about evolution. It's all about chance and things happening through chance. For me, 
that's what I believe. Obviously, if you believe something else, that's fine. Um, so I don't believe that there will be like dimensions or anything. Yes, maybe there's life on other planets out there somewhere, but that's as far as it goes. Ever made a potion of any sort? The only potion I've made is a, a perfume. I think me and my cousin Ella, when we were younger, made a perfume or something. Do you get scared easily? Yes, I do. Um, I think when I'm watching films, I get the tension is, it's not necessarily me getting scared. It's just tension. I don't like it, um, like in any kind of situation. Um, but I think when something scary happens, my brain can deal with it very well. Have you ever played Bloody Mary? I remember I was at my secondary school um, a few, well, about five years ago. Um, this happened, so I was in like year seven or eight or something. And, um, these girls were in the toilet playing Bloody Mary and I didn't really understand what it was and t now I still don't get it but they were like just screaming so and I was just in the toilet like going to the toilet so I don't know if that counts. You're home alone but you hear footsteps in the house, what do you do? Well first of all I will sit there for about two minutes thinking are these actual footsteps? I will play through my mind that this must be in my imagination. Then what I'll do is I'll grab something that I could hit somebody with, because I would always think it must be a person. Um, and then I would slowly walk out, look around, slowly, look around all the upstairs, and then I'd go downstairs, look around all the downstairs, and I'm sure everything would be fine. If it's not, then obviously that's another story. If you could only wear one Halloween costume for the rest of your life, what would it be? definitely a cat outfit as you can see I've got my cat ears on cats are just cool I also think that if I was to be reincarnated I would become a cat that's just what I would like to be and also who I think I would be because I love sitting next to fires like all the time even if I'm burning um so I would say I definitely would be a cat so I would wear a cat costume would you ever go to a graveyard at night? I think I have walked through a graveyard a couple of times at night. So obviously, yes, I've done it. Um, it is creepy because obviously there is people dead underneath the ground and that's true and it is creepy. I don't think it's ghostly, but I just think I feel a bit weird because I do know I'm walking on loads of people that have died and bones and stuff. Um, so I think it just makes me feel a little bit weird, but I would do it but I don't really like going anywhere at night, to be quite honest with you. In a zombie apocalypse, what is your weapon of choice? Um, I would say a knife, because if you have a gun, it will attract more of the zombies because of the noise. A knife, you can stab them through the head. I'm thinking of The Walking Dead here, by the way, and I can't think of any other weapons, to be quite honest with you. Would you rather go to a Halloween party or go trick or treating? I am 17 years old, and I can't really get away with going trick or treating now, to be fair. Um, and I kind of find the whole concept of going to people's houses, knocking on the door and asking for sweets a little bit strange now. I think, well, that is a little bit weird. And plus there's like a lot of weird people in life and you're knocking on their door. So I'd rather go to a Halloween party. But then if you go to a Halloween party, I'd feel like I needed to really like go all out with the makeup and everything. And I wouldn't really want to do that. So I would say a Halloween party these days, but yes, I still wouldn't really go. It depends if I like everyone there. You're in a horror movie. Are you the final girl, the first to die, the comic relief, the skeptic, the smart one, or the killer? I'm, I wouldn't be the killer, I don't think. I think I would, I wouldn't be the first one to die either. I think I'd be the one to hide. I don't know. I would say I'd be the, the smart one because I would really think about the situation. I would, I would, yeah, that's what, who I would want to be. Do you have to watch something happy after watching a horror movie so you can go to sleep? Hell yeah. I would never watch a horror movie before going to sleep. In fact, I wouldn't even watch one directly as soon as I wake up in the morning. I would be way too scared. Um, and if I did watch one in the evening, yes, I would need to watch a ton of YouTube videos to get my mind off it 100%. Whilst watching scary movies, are you the person who yells at the characters, the person with their eyes covered the whole time, or the person who falls asleep? The person with their eyes covered the whole time. Definitely. I would just walk out the room to be fair. Are you the one who gets scared or the one who does the scaring? I'm the one that gets scared. Yeah. How old were you when you saw your first horror movie? Um, because it depends what counts as a horror movie because you've got kind of horror movies for younger ages um, and then the horror movies for like the older people. Um, 
I don't watch horror movies at all anymore and I've probably only seen like one or two and I would say I would probably be in a like 10, 11. Um, it wouldn't be that scary but it would still be scary to me but do you know what I mean? What was your first Halloween costume? I think I was a cat. In fact I would have been a cat to be honest. I'm just a cat in everything really. What are you going to be for Halloween this year? Right, well, I'm not going to be anything, really. Like, I'm not going to go anywhere or anything like that unless somebody's miraculously brought out a little plan of what we're going to be doing. If you could have a spooky Halloween pet, black cat, owl, bat, rat or wolf, what would you pick? Hmm, I would get a black cat because... There's a theme of cats in this video. Um, and I like cats and they're cool. And they are quite creepy to be fair sometimes. Um, and I do quite like cats. So yeah, I'd get a cat. Bats, I couldn't do with bats. They scare me so much. Yeah. And maybe an owl, but they're quite scary too because they're like... So no, not an owl. So that is all of the questions that I've answered, answered for my Halloween tag video. I actually thought that I might have answered these before, but I haven't. So yeah. I quite enjoyed answering all of those to be fair um, and they were quite interesting for me to answer so if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe down below I've got a few more Halloween videos coming up so I hope you'll enjoy them and I will see you in my next one goodbye <laughs>